Just about all of us have a digital dossier, but many of us have no idea what it even is. Your dossier is the accumulation of all the digital tracks you leave behind. And this accumulation did not just start last week, month, or even year. It started before you were even born. The line between your digital dossier and your identity is constantly shifting. One way to see the implication of this movement is to imagine how information goes into the file of a child born today. Let's call him Andy. The first entry into Andy's file occurs while he's still five months into the womb. It is a sonogram, probably framed by his parents or even forwarded via email to their closest relatives. The same picture will also be copied in Andy's hospital folder and into a file for the pediatrician who will take over after his birth. As the new baby grows, so do the number of items in his digital file. Andy's barcoded bracelet lists facts like gender, time of birth, surname, and more. Friends and family will come to meet the baby, bring gifts, and take more photos, probably with phones or digital cameras. These photos are then also uploaded to other Flickr feeds or Facebook albums as part of the welcoming process. Andy's parents will use their phones to spread the news with SMS text messages, saying something along the lines of, healthy baby boy, born six pounds at 5.30 p.m. Friends will also post to the Flickr feeds, which will conveniently contain multitudes of Andy's pictures. This process of capturing and spreading pictures will continue for Andy's entire life, with pictures of the first time Andy sits, stands, walks, and talks. As Andy grows, he will now be able to independently share information about himself. He registers as a user on Neopets, where he fills out his name, age, birth date, and other details. Half of the blanks may not be even necessary to fill out, but Andy does not notice the significance of the asterisks as described at the bottom of the page. And so, Andy grows bigger, taller, and broader, and with him grows his digital dossier. As an adolescent, he is sucked into Facebook, where he posts pictures, videos, and information about his likes and dislikes. Facebook, in turn, deposits cookies into his web browser, tracking his activities. He signs up for a Gmail account and regularly uses Google to research for information needed in school assignments. Google, in turn, keeps tabs on all the searches Andy makes from his IP address. In college, he buys books from Amazon, which asks for his mailing address and credit card number. Andy's credit card company adds even more details to his dossier. The date, time, location, and price of every purchase he makes. And as Andy moves around, the GPS in his cell phone enables his service provider to know where he is and how many times he has been there recently. He is also filmed by surveillance cameras whenever he walks into secured college buildings. When Andy gets married, his dossier expands to encompass all the information about his wife, and they start a weblog together to share their thoughts and opinions online. Together they compile shelf upon shelf of digital tracks, files that are recorded and stored under their names. And when Andy has his first baby, aptly named Andy Jr., the cycle is started all over again. These data points, some publicly accessible, others safeguarded to various degrees by companies and agencies that collect and store this data, make Andy's identity as it forms, even before he himself begins to shape it. And Andy's digital dossier will even grow after his death. Photos or videos of the funeral, RIP messages on MSN Messenger, or his Facebook status posts. Andy probably never knew how large his dossier was. How aware are you of the tracks you leave behind? Want to learn more about your digital dossier?